Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can insert spark lines into your worksheets to illustrate changes to data values within a column or row of contiguous worksheet cells. A spark line is basically a mini chart that appears within a single selected worksheet cell and displays selected cell values as a trend line, columns, or a win-loss series. To create a spark line within a cell, first select the cell within which you want the spark line to appear. Often this will be the cell at the end of a column or row of data values which you want to illustrate visually. Then click the desired type of spark line to insert into the cell by clicking either the line, column, or win loss button that appears within the spark lines button group on the insert tab within the ribbon. In the create spark lines dialog box that then appears, click into the data range field. Then click and drag over the cells within the worksheet whose values you wish to illustrate within the spark line. Note that the cells you select that contain the values to show within the spark line need to be adjacent to each other and in the order that you want them to be displayed within the spark line. After selecting the cells, you should note that the location range field will display a reference to the initially selected cell within the worksheet. This is the cell that will contain the spark line. You can change this value if needed. Once you have made your selections, click the OK button within the dialog box to insert a spark line of the selected type into your worksheet. Another way to create spark lines within a worksheet is to first select the cells that contain the values that you want to illustrate within the spark line. Then click either the line, column, or win loss button within the spark lines button group on the insert tab within the ribbon. Within the Create Spark Lines dialog box, you can then click into the Location Range field and then select the cell range within the worksheet where you want the spark lines of the initially selected data to appear. You can then click the OK button to insert multiple spark lines, called Spark Line Group, for the selected data into the chosen location. To delete spark lines, select a spark line to delete. Then click the Design tab within the Spark Line Tools Contextual tab within the ribbon. Then click the drop-down button at the right of the clear button within the group button group. From the drop-down menu that appears, you can select either the clear selected spark lines to delete the selected spark line, or choose the delete selected spark line group command to delete the selected spark line group. Note that simply clicking the clear button directly will only delete the selected spark line, not the entire group. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.